What's going on, people? It's your main man, Dame Drops. Things are gonna start out a little bit different this time. I've been listening to y'all. I've been listening to y'all. Y'all like, Dame, look, man, we love you reading the reviews in the beginning. However, we think it kind of sways your opinion when you get to the spot to make it hot. So, I did still go to Yelp just to find out which one had the highest rating, which pizza spot in my state. I found the spot. It's called Arthur Avenue. They got five stars. Another oh, plaza. Right here, kid. Hold on. Another kid. plaza. Yo, plazas are doing it when it comes to pizza. But yo, plazas are doing it when it comes to food, bro. Yeah, here we go. All right. What's going on, people? It's your main man, Dame Drops. In the comment section below right now, let me know what other spots you want to see on my list. I have Indian foods. I have Mexican foods. I got Spanish restaurants coming up. Ice cream parlors that are happening. I mean, it's about to get extremely crazy, but I definitely want to hit up the best and worst stuff in my state of spots that you guys want to see. So in the comment section below, let me know what it is. But right now, we're over here at 246 Post Road, Fairfield, Connecticut. Spot called Arthur's Avenue. The reason I'm at this spot is because they got that five all day on Yelp, the highest rated pizza spot out here in Connecticut, man. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get inside, we're gonna check it out, check out the menu, check out the establishment, and see if they're really serving up that five all day. Come rock with your boy. y'all we're on the inside right here man and let me tell you something i walked in i mean it's quaint quaint little mom and pop spot you know got about three tables up in here you want to get in here early if you want to sit down other than that you have to take it to go because i'm sure it's going to get crazy around lunchtime i got in here right before the lunch rush and just looking around i mean the pictures just the whole entire ambiance that whole entire feel you know you're in that established pizzeria type spot but i'm here for the food, baby. Stop playing with your boy. You know what time it is. I don't even know what you guys would want for me to order. I don't know how crazy I want to get with it. You, what you think I should get, bro? Just feel like having. All right. Um. So. Chicken uh, parm stuffed bread actually sounds real good. Right. The chicken parm stuffed bread. Right. See. <laughs> definitely do that. All right. Definitely. So yes. So definitely that that chicken parm stuffed bread. And I want to go with a house. Well, you only have medium and large, right? For pizzas. Medium large. Okay. So I'm gonna go with a medium. I uh, see sausage, meatball, pepperoni, bacon. Sounds good. Sausage, meatball, pepperoni. It's like bacon. a meat lover's yeah. meat lover's yeah. pie. Yeah. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold on to your menu if you don't mind. The calzone. I heard you mention the calzone. You gotta try that calzone though. Too. I have tried I'm calzone. Gonna for you. I'm gonna throw that in for you. Okay. All right. All right. I like that. I appreciate it. All right. So, um, woo. My my mind right now is blown. I'm going to have a lot on my plate, literally. I'm going to have a lot on the plate. I hope you guys are ready for it. I'm about to showcase some food. So I just want to see if it's that five all day banger. You need, you think it's going to be that five, man? I think like all, when you have the, the, that, that old home feel, yeah. any restaurant, it doesn't have to just be a pizza spot, but I think just with any restaurant in general, it's, it's going to let you know that somebody's in that kitchen whipping up crazy work. Yeah. Like like if it was your uncle at a barbecue or for his grandmama in the be. kitchen, right? Like yeah. you have to have that type of flow. Mm -hmm. And it already looks that way when you walk in the establishment. You know, and then, you know, the owner welcoming and everything else. Yeah, we already got the service. There's half of us down. Half is down. I'm, I'm already excited. Yeah. <sighs> what a nice chicken pot. Oh. Oh uh, uh, yeah, 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 you, no small portions on anything, huh? Bring, bring the sign up over here. That's a cow's old. That's a cow's old. <laughs> <laughs> Not used to these monstrosities. Right. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oof. Ladies and gentlemen, stop playing. I can't even do the hand to product comparison. Because my hand's about to get lost. This guy put a whole, you gotta put a whole arm out here. <laughs> you got four arms. Look, look, look. I gotta, I'll give y'all the forearm comparison. Right here, oh, that yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. I know y'all want to get a slice. Go ahead and take that slice right there. Just go ahead and take it. Go ahead and take Oh, my goodness. Stop it. Stop it. Look at this. Oh. Oh, man. Hey, some Slice thin, with some balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, with salt and pepper on a nice fresh baked bread, which we do daily, at least four or five times a day. Oh, okay, thank you. Enjoy that. Yes. I can't lie. 
out of respect and small divorces. This this right here is feeding families, this not a family, families. This is a multitude of individuals. This is this is the sit down with about five to ten big boys. You about to get busy, or maybe just three big boys yeah. about my size, <laughs> and we, we'd all get busy. Oh, yeah. You know how you gotta get that steam out. Too. Look at the bowl. Yeah. Look at the bowl of sauce, bro. <laughs> Oh, that bread, look how look how fresh that bread is. You know when bread is fresh when it does that bend press, when it pushes itself down? You know what happens next, bro, you know. Thank you, oh. thank you, Joe. See you next time. Oh, oh come on, bro. You see what's happening here. Hmm. Wow. That bread's so fresh, you get a light crisp when you bite up off into the bread. That mozzarella. It comes in to hold you. Just in case you feel like, you know, winter time is still keeping you cold, that mozzarella comes in to comfort you. It's that warmth that you need, but it's inside your mouth. It's wrapping over the tongue. It's sliding everything down with ease and, yo, know, unique. Stop playing games, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm just Go to ahead. Don't, don't be acting scary, man. <laughs> just go ahead and get that, bro. That's why I cut that thing in half. Look at that cheese. And that stuff with everything, too. Oh, got to dip that thing. Got to, oh, uh, right up there. Oh, you see the oh, sauce? Oh, you see oh, the sauce? Oh, 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 like that? Like that? That's a, that's that mozzarella attack game right there. You wasn't ready for that. I do it. You wasn't, you wasn't <laughs> ready for that. I dip that up off in here. You know what I'm saying? Get that, that marinara sauce. That, I'm going to get them flavors, man. Oh, my God. Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I got to just hold this thing up because I don't think they really understand the magnitude. That's happening. This right here was made for Thanos. You see what I'm saying to you right now? This is like all the Infinity Stones right here in my hand. They said I'm teasing them. They said I'm teasing them. That's what they said I'm doing. I'm gonna hit this right down the middle. Just, ah, just, you know how I do it. Come on, man. See that, buddy? You see, ooh, you see a little bit of that pepperoni grease starting to already burst through. It's like I came to the party. I want to dance. I need my turn. I need my turn. I need my time. All right? All right, check it out. Check it out. I already see that cheese. You, you, come on, man. I see that cheese. Come on, man. I just, oh, my goodness. Oh. Are they inside? Do you have them inside? They are so inside. This is like, you know, at home, what was that Martin Short movie? You know what I'm saying? Inner space. Yeah. There's inner space. Yeah, look at that right there, y'all. Uh, I'm going to do it to him just because I can. That cheese just because, I, just because I can. No, just because I can. Ooh. 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 Oh. Look, let me tell you something. I don't care where you go. It really doesn't matter to me, right? If you get a calzone and your mozzarella cheese game, your pepperoni, your grease, it is not acting like that. That right there was a new level of happy disrespect. That's when your kids are talking back to you and you're like, who, who you think you're talking to? And the mozzarella said, I'm talking to you. You see the way it just eased out? Oh my goodness. I, now you already know I got to go in for the flavors. The flavors got to all connect. This is just like, it's like Pandora's box right here. This is crazy. Oh, yeah, hot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Okay. I normally never, ever order calzones for anything, right? I go to a pizza spot. I just get pizza. It is what it is. I'm going in there. Pepperoni, bacon, sausage. Little things that put a smile on my face. I need to make sure my crust is extra crisp. And I'm just there for just that, for the pizza. I need that effect. I need that feel. I need to feel attacked by my food, right? But that's what has happened here outside of my pizza. Between the stuffed bread, the calzone, that pepperoni, the pepperoni had pop. It had pop, it had snap, it had flair. And that mozzarella, once again, it, it doesn't come through like a light mozzarella, like just a little bit of that Jungle Gym string cheese just sitting there flowing on you. No, this is packed. This is that action-packed movie. This is that blockbuster hit that you wait all year for. It understands your needs and how you feel about food. All right, y'all, it doesn't stop there. You thought the party was over. I told you the party is just beginning. You saw the stuffed bread. You saw the calzone. Now we're about to get into the pizza. There it is, there, there it is. Oh, oh, let me go slide that out. We don't even need that thing right there. Nah, we're gonna just go ahead and just pick that thing on up. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get the bit, oh, you see it. Oh, there it is. Look at that sausage right there. Yeah, yeah, we got sausage, got bacon, got pepperoni, but hold up. You know we gotta get the fold. Oh, I don't know if you can hear the crisp, the crispiness on that crust right there. All right, we got the official fold about to slide out. 
Oh my, yeah, there you go. There you, get excited. I know you're excited. Now go ahead and get yourself a bite before I get my bite. Go ahead. There you go, just a little bit. Boop, that's enough for you. Now, as far as pizza, right, you can do it a few different ways. I know a lot of you like to fold your pizza up. Some of you can't fold your pizza based on where it is that you go for pizza to begin with, right? Some of you want that Parmesan cheese action. I say hit that pie as is initially by itself because a good pizza doesn't need any type of dressing. If the flavors are already there, that dressing is just a nice little bonus to complement greatness, right? We're about to find out. Mm. Mm -hmm. You need to get yourself a slice, bro. <laughs> That's fresh. That's really fresh. Mm -hmm. it's I'm, getting like that pork, I'm getting that pork love. I love it on my sausage, man. I love my sausage, my bacon. I need that combination to come through. That's what I was gonna say. The combination yeah. is like the combination's a killer right there, right? Perfect. Yeah. And it's like just the right amount of grease. And not too, not too <laughs> greasy. Not too greasy. Yeah. Because sometimes you get certain pies, especially yeah. when you get a meat lovers. Meat lovers is dripping all over the place. Drip, drip, drip. You go yeah. sausage, you go pepperoni, you go bacon. You get, you get that slide, right? Yeah. It's held together. And what's holding it together? Love. <laughs> Love's holding it together. Yeah. What's wrong with you? You ain't gonna ask me no questions. Mm. Oh my god. Three for three right now. Mm hmm. The stuff crust. Flex flow. I gave it a heavy five, right? My calzone. Bursting at the seams. That's a strong. I might have to give that one a seven piece. I'm going over the five into the seven land on that one because there was so much going on there, it was just straight bananas. My meat lovers. My meat lovers is going for a real heavy four and a half on my meat lovers. I'm going for a real heavy four and a half on that drink right there, because I like it. I like it where it's going. I like, I like my sauce on that one. Yep. It just has to really express what flavors are being connected. Well, that's the thing with this pizza too. It, it has a well balance of mm. everything that a pizza needed mm -hmm. without sauce dripping off your lip afterwards, without the grease dripping mm. afterwards. Like, we're good. And the crust is so crunchy, bro. It's so crunchy. It's so crunchy. It's so crunchy. <laughs> and I hope, I hope by now you guys understand why this location is rated a five on. Yup, I'm saying that, yo, it's worth every star. It's worth every star. Yep. Y'all know I call it like I said. If, if they got five on Yelp and this spot was only a three, I'd give them a three. No. No. They get that five all day from your main man, Dame Drops. I, I'm about to go enjoy the rest of this with my boy Unique up over here. He's been over here eyeballing it, looking at me you're all crazy like you doing too much talking. You're kind of like a five and a half, actually, yeah, because yeah. you gave that a seven. I sure enough there. And everything else got a five. I sure enough there. I might have to go outside the Yelp scales, well, what you saying? All right, guys, thanks for everyone who made it this far in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said in the beginning of the video, what I'm going to start doing going forward is putting the actual reviews at the end because I was, again, reading the comments. A lot of you guys made some great points when you were like, hey, Dame, Perhaps the reviews might make your own review a little biased, a little twisted. Although, as you can see clearly from even the Jamaican spot, it doesn't. Even when I read bad reviews from the Jamaican spot, I still went in there, tried it for myself, found out that the food was all love, and I went back and told them about the low score they received and the score that I gave them. That's how I get down. But for the rest of you that are either new to this channel, you know what I'm saying, or you really don't know about me and my personality, I will, for the rest of you, put these reviews at the end of the videos going forward. So now, let's go into this thing and see what they had to say about Arthur Avenue Pizza. Check it out. All right, y'all, so Arthur Avenue's Pizza and Catering, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, I did go ahead and just find out which one had the five-star rating. It has 29 reviews. Um, you guys already know that it's on 246 Post Road, Fairfield, Connecticut, so we're gonna get right into it. All right, y'all, here's our first five star. Oh, how I love the food here. It's not to be understated how authentic it is as well as delicious. I've been here a few times and I've had their pizza, calzones, and stuffed breads. I brought their breads to parties before and everyone was impressed and wanted to know where I got it from. I love their calzones. They are truly enough for two people and quite delicious. Their sauce is mouth-watering, and I always ask for extra so I can soak up every last bit. 
Parking can be tricky on the weekends, and while inside, they have three sit-down tables. I've never seen anybody dining in. Pizza from here is the best in the area, and you need to try it. Well, I wish I would have read that review before I went to find out how small it was up inside the spot, but that's all right though, because y'all already know they be serving up that thang thang. Let's check out the next review. I went to Arthur Avenue Pizza today, and what a treat. I heard so many good things about this place, so I gave it a try and I wasn't disappointed. We had the pizza and it was the best I've had in the area. Served with a crispy New York style, slightly burned crust, great tomato flavor along with delicious cheese, it was an outstanding pizza. We had the mushrooms and garlic toppings. Besides the pizza, they have an excellent menu offer many fine Italian dishes. The service was nothing but the best, the staff could not be any more pleasant, and they made sure you have the best experience they can offer. If I could give them 10 stars, I would. If you live in the Fairfield County area, this is a must place to try. Once you do, I know you'll be back again and again. Whoo, yo, I did not mislead the people with this one, baby. Look. I saw five stars, I knew there's a reason that a location has to get a perfect score of a five piece all day. Let's read one more and wrap up these reviews, all right? This may become our new favorite pizza place. I come from New York. Yo, to my New York fam out there, I know y'all believe there ain't no other better pizza in the world unless it's New York pie and I do not disagree. There's something in the New York water. Yes, in the New York water, baby that has that crust, that brick oven crisp, that oh my goodness flair every time you hit a pizza in New York. Not every location in New York is popping. I Don't make me do a New York tour and start showing y'all some boo-boo the fool. Y'all got, got some boo-boo the fool. Both my wife and I were delighted with the breaded chicken on our pizza, not on the menu, but you can't ask for it. And the crust, what, you can ask for it? I wish I knew that. Shoo, I would've got freaky freaky with the pizza. And, and the crust and pizza dough had a nice crunch to it. We also had the Capri salad. It is a nice size and tasted very good with the arugula, lettuce, and filled greens with nice big slices of tomato and fresh mozzarella. I cannot wait to start trying other toppings. It says toppings, but I know she meant toppings. And also their chicken parm and meatball parm grinders just to see how they taste. Tip. I also asked them to cut the pizza in eight slices like it's done in New York. Also, grinders are called heroes in New York, but that's just me being picky. Need I say more? Y'all already saw for yourself Arthur's Ave Pizza in Fairfield, Connecticut is serving up hot fire. Yo, it's your main man, Dave Drop Show. Thank you for watching the best pizza restaurant in my state. And y'all already know what comes next. The worst pizza restaurant in my state. So um, hopefully again, even with these Yelp reviews y'all, we never know how it's gonna turn out. They can give it a five all day, I might give it a four, I might give it a three, I might agree and give it that five piece if it deserves it. Same thing with our worst rated restaurants out there, they can get a one star, one and a half, two star. I might go up in there, it might be a four or five piece banger because those are old reviews and people just read old reviews and they just don't go based on old reviews. So we're gonna check it out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for loving this series, for keeping up with your boy, for watching me. Everything you guys do to keep this channel going, I greatly appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all next video, all right, baby? Keep it crispy. Drops.